If we didn't have Royal Columbian to go to, we wouldn't be doing this interview right now. It was my friend Cheryl's baby shower, and I was in the shower, and my pinky toe started to go numb. I instantly thought of cancer. In the Google, it, it said, you know, the most likely causes are pinched nerve, blah, 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 but also you could have metastases. Before I would go to work, I'd always go to the, do my stalls in the, in the morning at the farm and ride my horses, and it was that same week that my handwriting went. I remember saying to him and my mom, I hope it's not a brain tumor. And then, yeah, it ended up being not one, but two. <laughs> We went to Royal Columbian because the hospital we, we were at couldn't address the fact that I needed the brain surgery, plus I was pregnant. I got the impression that they hadn't seen it, many of these cases, and it wasn't until they made the suggestion for us to go to Royal Columbian, and once we got there, it seemed like they, they knew more of what to do for Madeline's situation. That was when I got pulled into the room with Dr. Chan, and he had said that that needs to come out right now, the tumors need to come out right now, and the likelihood of them both surviving was low. What their main goal was to, was to remove the tumor or reduce the size of the tumors enough so that Shannon could live long enough to give birth to Madeline. Uh, the nurse came out and got me and said, it's going really well, which was good. And it looked like we might be able to save both of them. When she came out of the anesthetic, the first thing she said was, the nurse asked if she knew who I was, and she said, yes, my husband, Brad. And I was like, that <laughs> was really awesome. If I have a bad day, and I'm worrying about what could happen, I just, that's something I keep. And from Brad, really, is that you guys weren't supposed to be here. You weren't supposed to make it, and you did. So let's just focus on, on that. And the one moment that kind of was stuck out in my mind is when I first got there, I was a mess, crying. And, uh, a nurse came out who wasn't even Shannon's nurse and brought me a glass of water and calmed me down. And just that small gesture was huge. It was a tough, tough few, few moments, so. Madeline is now 18 months. Yeah. We look at pictures of her when she was a baby and think, I can't believe how big she is now. And she's, she's got lots of sass and opinions about things already. And uh, yeah, she's a pretty neat little kid.